Okay guys, so welcome back. So I'm going to tell you the, uh, well, a slight variation on a salmon fly. I only want to stick a scale it down for the trout on the grouse and orange. Now, grouse and orange was a very old salmon, salmon fly from the Waxford um, district. So the hook in the vase is a Camazon B175 and size 10. I'm going to start off using a Uni 3801 weight. This is just to keep the, the body of the fly, which is going to be a rusty orange floss, just as bright as we possibly can. Now the tail's in two parts, so the first part you're looking at some uh, golden pheasant tippet fibers, just enough for a tail. So we're going to put some bronze mallard on top of this, we just want the tail to be roughly the length of the hook over the back. Just here, see here we're sitting. Super. And then just a wee pinch of bronze mallard. And you just want this to the same length as your tippet. Catch that in. Then just taking my, th my thread turns down the hook just until the thread's in line with the barb. Then we'll come in and trim that away. The rib is an oval silver tinsel. So, catch this in. And then we'll just work our thread forward everything in. I right, just want to try and keep the body as smooth as we can. And then work our thread back down. Just an open turns at this point. Tied up against our tail. Then the body is a new floss rusty orange. spool of any floss I've ever had. Constantly the fibres want to open up. So I'm just going to pull that in and then we'll work our thread forward. That point there. And then we'll just come up with our floss. Slightly overlapping turns. To create the body. A couple of turns will catch that in. We'll come in and trim away the waist. Now at this point, I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. And then we'll transition over to a uni thread and black. Eight oh. there. Now on the original pattern, as the name suggests, there is a grouse hackle at this point. And you sort of weigh on the salmon fly, bring it down about one third of the body. However, I'm just going to use a saddle furnace hackle to sit here, just to palmer the body. So it's just a bit of fun. These flies worked way back in 1902, so from only the stem. There should be no reason why they shouldn't work in today's angling, if you like. Now, a couple of turns at the front, and then three turns down the body is all I'm going to take because they want to cover up. All our nice rusty floss, and then four turns of the oval silver up through the body. 
Just come in at this point, sweep everything back and follow this around with the thread. I just at the front of this fly, it's probably best to leave a good 2mm because you have lots going on at the top here. Work our thread back. That's our body hack on. Next, you're going to have a nice deep red, or a bright red, I should say. Cock hack oh. And this is just a from a Chinese cock cape. So, stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. For this up to the hook, come around with two turns, come in and fold your tip back. It just locks everything in for you if you do that. Locate the tip, bring it away. Stroking the fibers back with my scissors. And then I'm looking roughly two to three turns of this. Because the red really shows up against the, the rusty orange. Gonna do me there. Follow this around with my thread, and then we'll get a couple of tight turns in. Turn the face here. Just trim away the stem. Just fold everything back again. The threads really out the eye. And work it back up. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking too bad. The throat. We pinch a guinea fowl. So just get one out of the tub. I just keep my guinea fowl in a wee tub like this. A wee plastic container. Then I can just sort of wee dip in and out of it rather than get in and out of the packets. So I just bring the bring the fibers out from the stem, 90 degrees from the stem, just take a pinch. Just get them to line up. Start for this up, sort of way in line with the, the point of the hook. Just pinch it up the way. A couple of tight turns now. Always best to check. See what way you're sitting. I'm happy with that. I'll just come in and trim away the waist. Bring her straight back up. Now the underwing. You're gonna just a few fibers of peacock sword. So I don't know, we're in about four or five fibers should be enough. Turn that away. Now there's a curve in these, so I want to try and tad in with the curve coming towards the back probably much the length of the the body haggle a couple of turns now just how we check see the way we're sitting I'll be enough fat now this will sit lower once it's had a once it's had a swim all the time you're just working your thread down to the end back up just to try and keep that level for you and then just to finish off you're just looking to give an impression of a bronze mallard wing now you don't need to go crazy here it's not like a dabbler so just a small pinch of the bronze mallard rip that away and then you're just going to fold this in Give you enough favors for a wing. Length of wing, just much the same length as the, the peacock sword. Keep it together. Start for this up. 
pinch the bronze mallard. Come around with a pinch and loop. Good three or four tight turns. Just have a wee check. See what way we're sitting. Happy enough for that. And I'll come in and trim away the waist. Then we'll just tidy up the head. Just over the cut ends of the the bronze mallard. Now what I will do guys, I'll put the original dressing up of the salmon fly underneath the description. For you guys who like to tie the the classics. Put a thread tight. Come in and trim away our tang thread. That's the wee fly there. Now that's obviously, like I said at the start, that's it scaled down. So on the salmon fly you'd be putting horns and stuff on of red macaw. So just a wee drop of super glue onto the head first, just being extra careful not to touch your wing or your hackles. Just always like to take away any excess. Make sure that the eye is clean. So there you go guys. And I'll put that like I say, I'll put the, the original dressing of the the salmon pattern underneath. Like I say, it has horns and you've got the, the hurl head and stuff. So that's it just just a bit of fun. Scale down for the trout. I still think it'll work. So I'm gonna tie five of them here. That's the first one. I'm gonna tie five um for my own box and give them a blast this season, see how we get on. As always guys, many thanks for taking the time to view a video. I really do appreciate it. And until the next time, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. And all being well, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.